Hello! Today's tutorial is how I made myself look like this. Started off by priming my eyes with a NYX primer, setting that, and then going in with this iridescent, is it iridescent? I don't know, whatever, um, cream eyeshadow. And I put that all over my eyelid. Got a bit of dimension to the eyes, I used a dark pink eyeshadow and just lightly shaded it in just to, you know, give it something. And then used this uh, shimmery eyeliner thing that I use as a highlighter on the inner corners. Now for the eyeliner, it kind of doesn't look it but I'm actually following the natural creases of my eye, like I have hooded eyes, so they draw downwards really. And yeah that's what I'm just doing here and it looks very weird but tr this is very much a trust the process with the liner we're going for big anime eyes so it doesn't make sense later foundation just go and put a good wad on didn't have any water to hand so I just used this setting spray to uh, wet my brush but I don't like it as much because it dries out a lot quicker so much prefer spraying my brush with water to blend and just using a smaller brush around the eyes and nose and stuff it's just a bit easier for the highlighter i couldn't find my white nyx pencil so i'm literally just using a white face paint for it and then a regular contour stick that i use and i'm doing it all in cream first and then i'm gonna add to it with shadow after powder i'm gonna add to the shadow with powder after So the under eyes are going to be white because we're giving that fake anime eye, you know, made, making them look like really big. So all under the eye is going to be filled with white. And this blusher is really gorgeous like this, actually. It's a cream blush, but it wasn't intense enough for what I was going for. But the placement is very high up on the cheeks, right under the eye and on the nose as well. Then I'm setting all of that and then I'm going to go in with the powder product of the contour and the highlighter and the more blusher. A lot more blusher. Started off doing the blusher with this uh, small fluffy brush, but actually it was too big of an area, so I just used a powder brush, and also it made it a bit more defined. But I used it on like the nose and stuff as it was a bit smaller. So continuing the eyeliner, I'm joining up from those corners and I'm just following my eye shape again. The natural creases under my eye and around the eyeball and just making that fake eye. I kind of feel like this is somewhere between like a cat and clown makeup, if that makes sense to anyone. This is a really cute little heart stamp that I have, just extra cuteness. And then that, uh, what's it called? The, the highlighty stick, adding more shimmer. And just loads of highlighter as well. For the lips, I used a liquid lipstick. I forgot what it was called. Um, yeah, kind of close to my lip colour and then added extra edges with a brown liner just to, you know, make the mouth a bit wider. I went too far with the lipstick, so I'm just buffing it over with the foundation to give it that gradient lip and then using a dark pink on the inner and then even going as far as using black because it just didn't have the dimension that I wanted and it kind of added to the cartoony kind of stuff that was going on with the eyes and also we've got some quite um well the illustrative lines in the eyes so I didn't think adding black to the lips was too bad. Gloss really helps add a lot of dimension to this, especially on my lips that aren't really full. It does really make a difference. I 
So for the lashes, I mean, me recording the audio now, I think it's like two months later since I did this video. So for what I remember, I think it's two stacked lashes, like elongated. And then I used four little individual ones under the eye. As I said, I think this is two lashes stacked together and elongated for volume and extra length. So those lashes are going right along that top liner. The lashes really make a difference to looks like these. And here we are with the finished look with the wig and the ears. And I had so much fun doing this and looking like this and I see why people do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video because I did.